Looking for cheap and reliable College 25 Ultimate Team coins? Head on over to MMO EXP and use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another CFB 25 video. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over do the green interest ticks when recruiting matter. Now, before we do get into the video, guys, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Every like helps out the channel, so I greatly appreciate it when you do it. Give it a like right now if you could. And of course, if you're new, subscribe. We're trying to get to 30,000 subscribers. Each subscriber matters, each one counts. So I really appreciate it when you guys do join the channel. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know if you have any questions. And make sure to go down below. My link for Underdog and Twitter will be down below. Make sure to sign up for Underdog now so you are ready for when the NFL and CFB season does start. And if you follow me on Twitter, you can DM me directly over there, ask for some Dynasty advice, have me rate your Dynasty, etc. So for this, I'm going to add a few four stars to the board so we can go through this. We're going to go all the way to the bottom, filter by our new guys. And you're going to see right here. So the question is the green ticks. So when you're offering a scholarship, you're going to notice that you do actually have green ticks on these players when adding action. So if you look at this, you see right here, social media has five points it costs five points and it's one tick right then you have dm the player is two ticks then you have maximum influence right it's three ticks for co contact friends and family send the house is four ticks and then of course we have these as we do move on so with 50 points you can do a few combinations here right you can do just set in the house that will give you a total of as you see right here five ticks so in your head you're thinking okay that's five right that's pretty good but you could also do a five a 10 and a 25. Now, if you were to do this, this would add up to two, three, and four. So in your eyes, this is this is four, three, seven, plus two is nine. So a lot of people have been asking me, does that matter? Should you just go ahead and do that? And that's just not the case. These are not drawn to scale for anyone who's taken a math class or taken a math test. You ever see that thing that says not drawn to scale just because it looks like it's two inches in the in the math equation, it's like 17 feet. Do not these are not drawn to scale. The influence is just showing you like how good they are, but they don't stack in the sense that it's four plus three plus two in the end the hard sell is still way better in the situation so a lot of people also have asked should i do the soft sell and the hard sell should i do this is this better than the hard sell it's not in my in my order the hard sell is still the best thing that you can be doing to actually go ahead and get your get your interest going and this does go across the thing and i will show you a few other combinations here so in this sense let's say you only have 50. if you only have 50 send the house is still the best now there are instances where you do have players that are like two stars or three stars and players that you're not rushing to get or you're a prestige of a one or two star program and you're not able to just go ahead and throw 50 on every guy in these instances you can go ahead and maneuver it but i see it as follows send the house is the best then it's contact friends and family then dm the player then social media these are all individuals i almost see these first three as add-ons not standalone foundation pieces when recruiting so for instance, let's say this guy down here, we have 60 available on this guy. Let's say you have the packages to actually increase this. In this case, I would say you want to go ahead and you could add the 10, right? Not the five, the 10 is better. Now let's say you only have five to play with because you're out of hours, you can add the five. Now in this instance, it's not four ticks plus two. It's the best available thing you could do, which is send the house plus an additional boost on top of it. So I like to see those first three as complimentary with contact friends and family being okay as a standalone if it's a player that you're not competing with many people with. And, and there's other instances here where that may work, but in most cases, hard sell is the best one, or I should say, sorry, send the house is the best one when it comes to ticks. And you do not want to be fooled by thinking that you're adding them up. I've seen a lot of people add them up and then lose a lot of recruits. You're going to destroy and ruin your recruit class if you do try to go ahead and do this. Now, keep in mind, there's multiple combinations. There's a, you can get up to 70 points. You could be out of hours. You could be a low tier program, but make sure that you are focusing on the main thing, which is send the house at all times. Because if you don't send the house, you're going to be hurting yourself. Now, remember, as you do get up into players top five, we're scrolling to the top of some of these top five guys that we may have, and you're going to notice like this guy in the top three, you now can actually go ahead and hard sell. So once again, the next question is soft sell versus hard sell. Some people say, could I just soft sell, right? Soft sell at a pitch, that's four ticks. And then could I just add with an extra 25 here and then add an extra five? People think that that must be better, right? You're getting three things there. It's way better. And that's just not the case. A soft sell does not, does not work as well as a hard sell. I know, again, not drawn to scale. It does not, it is not as effective as it looks. You'll notice when you actually do these things, you think it's so great. And then you're versing someone with a hard sell. That hard sell gets a huge interest boost the first week you use it, right? And then you do this method and you don't boost as much. And you're not you're wondering maybe they have a better pipeline, maybe they have better packages. While those all could be true, it's just not the case. Do not try to get fancy with it. In, in my eyes, it, the things that are king are obviously see what interest level you have, but it's always, if you can, get the hard sell in there, 
And if you can get it early, always get it in there as well using some of the other methods I've went through in other videos. So get the hard sell in there. And then in this case, add the 10. Use the 10 as a complimentary piece to your recruiting strategy. You can also add the five. You can schedule a visit here. Again, a visit not drawn to scale. As you see, there are ticks, but just because it's one tick here doesn't mean it's worse or better than your hard sell because it's four ticks. All these ticks are not drawn to scale. The best thing I can recommend is actually go through and workshop these and test them offline and see how these work for you because you'll get a pretty good sense. Like for me, so I've learned it's set in the house up until you get top five. Once you get top five, it's instantly hard sell. If you can't hard sell yet, look at their deal breaker in the bottom right corner. See how you can maneuver this a little bit to get your hard sell early until you can. Once you have the hard sell in, you rock with the hard sell the rest of the way. If you have a great lead and you have a firm lead, you don't need to add the 10. If you have it still a tight race and you're trying to win a five star or big recruit, throw that 10 on there and make sure that you are utilizing the extra 10 and or five. And then scheduling the visit is huge too. My issue with visits is that you want to be very efficient with these points. So right here, let's say he's about to commit to Texas. I can't schedule a visit to week seven. It's week six, right? It's probably over. So in my eyes, that's a waste of 40 points. You do want to be monitoring. Visits are super impactful. If you have a, if you have a tight race and there's still space to go, right? You're not near commit and there's still a few weeks to go and you can schedule one soon. Doing a visit with a big tick marker, like a three win on Ole Miss is a great way to take a demanding lead on a player and jump everyone else. It's a great way to commit right after that by jumping everyone, but you have to be very efficient with it. But in my eyes, again, send the house, then it's hard sell. And then visits are super, super strong if you can do them the right way and you're efficient with them. A lot of people, I see people like right here, right? TCU scheduled a visit for week 13. We are not making it to week 13 on this one. So that's my only problem is hard sell is so efficient because you know you're getting your points, you know you're maximizing your, your motivations, but a visit can be so strong as well. So just make sure you are doing that. Do not, do not look at the green ticks. The red ticks as well, like it's all not drawn to scale. Do not fall for that. I know this has been everywhere people wondering this. I have a million comments about green ticks and how it works. Just don't take them, don't take them for what they look like. Just understand that those are the three things that are king and you should be fine in recruiting. And this goes across all recruiting aspects. This works in the transfer portal. This works on one star, two star, three star, four star, five star. It does not matter. This is just recruiting methodology. Make sure you are following this. Do not fall for the ticks. And just to showcase it, we are in transfer portal week now. I did want to show you it's the same exact concept for anyone who may ask, does it apply to the, like I mentioned before, does it apply to the transfer portal? It's the same concept. It's exactly the same. There's a green text for the transfer portal. Some things do more, some things do less. You can schedule visits. There are no tickers for wins or losses because of course, this is just by week. That's the only difference I'd say with the transfer portal is that when it comes to tickers, visits are going to be pretty equal across the boards because there's no influence on the bye weeks. But otherwise, you're pretty much looking at the same exact thing. Go about, follow the recruiting methods, ignore the tickers, same concept when you're in the transfer portal. And that is all. That is, that is really all for the video that basically goes through everything you need to know about this. Now, there are some other methods. If you have any questions, comment them down below. Of course, getting the early hard sell, like I said, those are things I've went through in other videos, following the deal breakers as well. But that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, give this video a big thumbs up. We're on the road to 30K, so make sure you subscribe if you are new and this helped you out. And of course, if you haven't already, check out my link down below for Twitter and give me a follow and hit me up over there if you need any help. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys later. Peace.